Behind the play, Dave Robinson and Charlie Vassaturo pushing back and forth. No love lost between those two Warriors. Both in their 20-year-old season. Both wear letters for their respective teams. And both don't really like each other that much. Murphy wins the draw. Corky shot. Blocked by Reed. Finds Kukoski. His shot up in the air in the slot. And gloved by Reardon out for the point. Lyles will hold it in. Shot wide side of the net. Robinson scores. Purposeful shot wide of the net by Malcolm Lyles. Comes to the side where David Robinson deflects it past uh, Chris Moore. And the Vipers do have that all-important first goal of the game. And they lead one to nothing at 11.46 of this first period. Off the pad, Zolnik back to get it. Servax three on three out to center. Reed down the right wing. Brad Reed drop pass. Hammond poked away by Kokoski. And he counteracts the other way. Kokoski in. Slap shot. Stopped by Moore. Big rebound. Kokoski again scores. Bryce Kokoski in his own rebound beats Chris Moore from the goal line. Moore looking behind him to find out how that got through him. And the Vipers have a 2-0 first period lead at 14-29. As Renzo's up, her eye sticking in the Servax power play. Three for three on Saturday night. Face off one by Killup. Knowles for Killup. Passes off to the boards. Gervais gets it to the right point. Vasaturo, he's filling in for Manson on that point. Gets over to the left side. Atkinson. Back to Vasaturo. Back to Atkinson. Over to Vasaturo. Down on the goal line, Gervais. Quickly on him, Corky. Dishes off for Knowles. Around the board, Killup. Swings at the left point, Atkinson. Not much pressure up top from the Vipers. They're really sagging back as Vasaturo gets it over for Atkinson. Down for Killip. Back to Atkinson. Left point. Right side. Vasaturo. He'll take a wrist shot. That goes wide. As he was looking for a Knowles tip in front. Now Atkinson shot scores. Clinton Atkinson takes the shot from the point. The Vipers are complaining it was high sticked. Jim Maniego though right on the scene shaking his head saying Knowles got that one at waist tight. And Sam and Arm on the power play. Gets back within one, it's 2-1. to one. I think the Vipers wanted a penalty on 10-man Holt after Bassar was knocked down. Corky from center ice, dumping it in. Friedel gets it from Moore, leaves it for Vasaturo. He has trouble with it. Noick in front, shot, stopped by Moore. Down and out, Chris Moore able to get enough of that Noick shot after a Vasaturo turnover in his own zone, and Vasaturo coughs it up again. Friedel racing after along the board. Zaleski pokes it behind the net. Vasaturo again has it. And boy, is he fighting the puck on this shift. Third turnover. Zaleski to the point for Noak. Noak, middle blue line. Wrist shot. Stopped by Moore. Noak has it off the rebound. Left corner. Noak to Zaleski in his skates. He controls. Heard on the play. Now Vasaturo. Nicely in. Pass for Zaleski. Scores. Continued pressure in the offensive zone for the Vipers. Vasaturo copped it up three times. Then later on he was hurt on the play. And that allowed an odd man opportunity down low. Nisley slides it to Zaleski. And the Vipers have a two-goal lead back. It's 3-1. to one. Mueller wins the faceoff to the boards, though. And Fitzgerald got to it. Now Mueller steals it and sends the jersey out to center. Paul the jersey not quite to the red line. Or was he as he shoots it in? Icing waved off. Renz hit hard by the jersey. Big check along the boards. Paul the jersey on Ryan Renz. Knock him to the ice. Askew's Foods opening face off. Killup and Robinson, former teammates. Killup wins it. And turning with it, Reardon will shoot it down the ice. Weinstein out of his own end. For Walchuk. Quickly up ice. Walchuk over the blue line. Hammered by Knowles. Leaves the puck for McGillis. Big hit by Brett Knowles on Dylan Walchuk. The Vipers' best. He was rocked. And Gannon wins it cleanly. Atkinson left it along the boards. Walchuk got it. Then Gannon got it to the blue line. Weinstein able to hold it in. Over to the right side, Kokoski. Back to Weinstein. Left point. Touch pass. Finds Walchuk. Left half wall. Walchuk looking into the slot. Back out to the half wall. Walchuk down to the side of the net and the goal line for Robinson. Back to Walchuk. Left half wall. Walchuk in the left circle. In front. McGillis one-timer. Stop scores. In the slot with Dave Robinson screening. Walt or McGillis able to slide it through. And the Vipers get a power play goal of their own. 27 seconds into that power play. And Vernon, for the first time tonight, up by three. It's four to one. Friedel having some trouble. The tail end of the power play. Out of the box is Thompson. And Vernon now five for six penalty killing tonight. And are dominating the special teams battle here this evening. Bassaturo over the blue line. will rim it in. Around the boards. 
Massar has it in his skates, and he'll get it to McGillis. McGillis up the right wing. Walchuk takes it in full flight. Walchuk stopping, cutting in, shot stopped by Moore. Maniego got involved in that rush, the referee, and kept it at the right point by Corky. McGillis shot. That didn't get through. McGillis has had a strong night for the Vipers with that last goal. Now Walchuk shot. That one scores. And Walchuk able to beat Moore between the legs with a quick wrister. And Vernon now up 5-1, not even halfway through this third period. Zolnick won the face up. Right point, Elliott. Slap shot. That's blocked by Robinson, and that's stung Robinson as he limps to get back up to his feet. Two seconds left, and uh, after embarrassing the Vipers in Game 2, the Vipers return the favor to the Sorbax in Game 3, and we have ourselves a series. The Vipers coming up with a 5-1 win tonight in Salmon Arm at the Sunwave Center, and the Sorbax lead in the series drops to one game. Sorbax leading the series 2-1 to one with another game coming up at the Sunwave Center tomorrow night for game number four.